Most dogs learn how to shake really easily, like Skipper here, and then we're going to focus on a dog that didn't learn so easily and really break down the steps for you. Okay, so we're going to use Skipper D uh, to help show you how to teach your dog to shake. Now you can start by lifting the paw. Oh, good boy, shake, shake, good, shake. And you give them the treat as you're shaking their hand and you can say the word shake. Apply the word shake to the action of lifting the paw while they're learning. Shake, good boy, good boy. Now we've been working on this so he's anticipating it which is really good. Now if you need to, the next step after lifting their paw up is just to kind of tickle it like in the back. Come on, oh, shake, <laughs> good shake, good shake. And then you want to be able to just hold your hand out. Shake. Oh, good boy, good boy. Good shake. Good shake. And obviously right now he doesn't quite know what the word shake means yet. Sit. Come on, sit down. So you want to just keep using the word as you put your hand out. Shake. Good boy. So let's see. Shake. Uh-oh. Shake. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. And you do it just like that. If they don't put your their hand right in your paw, you can just tickle the back of their paw. Or if you hold it out there too long, you've got to do what I do. You go, uh-oh, and you remove your hands before you put them back out again. Yes. Come here. Sit. Sit down. Shake. Oh, good boy. Good boy, good shake, good shake. And that's how you do it. Skipper D was way too quick at learning this. We'd worked on it maybe five minutes and he got it so quick I had to hurry to take video. So I found a dog that was not picking up on it so quickly to show how a dog struggling with it learns to shake. This is more detailed and it breaks down the steps further. Teaching your dog to shake isn't always a cinch. <laughs> Sometimes it can actually be really difficult for such a seemingly easy command. It just doesn't work naturally for some dogs. Uh, what you want to try to do is catch them in an act where you normally see them reaching out with their paw and then address it and reward it right away. Just be ready with whatever word you want to use. Uh, shake, give paw, say hi, anything like that. Um, what we use is uh, shake. And I did have some difficulty with her initially teaching it. Um, there's two things that I know about her. One, she loves food and she'll often reach up with a paw for food. And another interesting quirk was that I found out if I scratch her, <laughs> if I scratch her right there, she lifts her paw. <laughs> All right, so sometimes you have to work with your dog, find out a natural way for them to lift their paw in order to teach this trick so you're not lifting up their paw off the ground for days and days and days. Um, so I'm going to break this down into a few steps with um, a dog that was a little bit more difficult to teach than, than the other. Okay, so I'm going to have a treat in my hand. Uh, the reason I'm starting this way instead of feeding from the other hand is because I know she's going to lift her paw when I have food. Now um, you can use Clicker training, clicker training is great. I don't like to have so many things in my hand, so I don't always use clicker training. I do like to use marker words. So uh, for her, it's yes. Every time she does something good, she hears that word, and she gets rewarded. So it's the same thing as a clicker, except I'm using a word. Yes. Yes. Now that she's doing it consistently, I'm going to actually start to add in the command. Shake, yes. Shake, yes. Shake, uh-oh. Shake, yes. Now see how she's anticipating lifting her paw? That's actually a good sign. That means your dog is starting to get it. But you also don't want them to cheat, so I've been just kind of shifting the treats over this way so they put their paws back on the ground without you having to manipulate them. Shake, yes. So now I'm going to filter out giving her the food from this hand because you don't want her grabbing people's fingers whenever they reach down to say hello. Um, 
So we're still going to act like we have the food though. All right. So this without food is a, is a baby step. You don't want to leave that step out. Shake, yes. Shake, uh oh. Shake, yes. Shake, yes. Shake, yes. Hold your hand out flat and reward from the, the other hand. Shake, yes. Shake, yes. <laughs> Once your dog is really getting the hang of it, start filtering out the food in the clicker or marker word. You do this slowly and organically so the dog never knows what's coming. And if you see a lack of progress, just go back a step. So I would have her shake two or three times, then give her a treat, and then maybe give her a couple treats in a row, and then no treats for three or four times. Shake, yes. Shake, yes. Shake, yes. Shake, yes. Now, if you start to see your dog get antsy or uh, maybe start to get lax a little bit on the command, uh, then go back a step. Uh, reinforce the, the confident previous step before moving on. You can do that every day when you get started. Um, when you first start doing this, just because by the end of that short session they understand what it means, doesn't mean that tomorrow morning they're going to know what it means. So make sure you go back a few steps, reinforce all that good behavior, and build their confidence. And if they ever get restless trying to learn the same trick, sit. Uh, do a couple things that they know. Again, it's, it's about building their confidence. Keep it light and fun, and keep your sessions short. Uh, five five-minute sessions are much better than one 30-minute session. Happy training. <laughs> Check out our blog at doggersizela.com.